Okay, YouTube. This is going to be my video of things I did that I don't do anymore. Things I did that I don't do anymore. Um, that pertains to my hair. Back when I had like a half an inch of hair. But actually, let me start by saying that. I'm going to take these off again. Because I'm getting bad sunglasses. Um, let me start by saying that. When my hair started falling out in 2006, um, it was from sickness and illness. Like I've stated in my other videos, um, I had a tumor in my right ovary where, you know, caused me to lose my entire right ovary. And I had breast lumps removed all in, you know, pretty much the same space of time of each other. Um, so my hair started falling out from this sickness, my body not being right. And my hair suffered for it. At the time of the fallout, no, I was not natural. I did have a texturizer in my hair and I had the nice big loopy curls and everything. But I was not natural in the sense of it was all my hair and not chemically treated. So my husband, lovingly, while I cry because I, I just, you know, I couldn't get my 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 mind around why this was happening why my hair was falling out but he you know he lovingly you know cut off all my hair and we went to the extreme of shaving my head gleaming bald we used his um, razor and some shaving cream and we took off the stubble as well we weren't wasn't taking no chances on any chemical being left um, on that head so that when it grew in it would grow in and it would be mine so when it finally did start to grow in, I um, went online and I went to Chemet Biologics because I had seen Nausea Face's review of Chemet Biologics and, and um, Blended Beauty. And I did purchase from both of them. Chemet Biologics, I bought the, um, the Emma Honey, I think it's the Honey. I can't remember the name of it right now, but it was the, the, honey, oh, the hum, honey Bomb. I bought the Honey Bomb. And I bought the Amla Olive Heavy Cream. And from Blended Beauty, I bought the Creamy Soy Poo. And then I went to Oyen Handmade, and I got the um, Honey Hemp Conditioner. I got the Styling Serum. I got the, um, there was a, a whipped butter thingy. It smelled like chocolate. It was good. I got that stuff. So, um, I don't use any of that anymore. Um... These are things that I did while I had my little half an inch of hair. And I used these things like back and forth. I also used the one commercial product that I, I had started out using ORS um, Olive Oil Moisturizer. But I found that it started to harden my hair and that's because it's not 100% natural. So I don't use it anymore. The one thing that I still use from time to time is the ORS Replenishing Pack and that's because I can identify every single thing in it. So that's the one thing that I do still use today. Um, as for things that I did use then and don't use now, I do not use Amla Olive Heavy Cream anymore. Not because I hate it, I absolutely love that stuff. My reason for not using it is that I can make it on my own. I can make it minus, you know, some brahmi oil and maybe a couple other ingredients. It's not that major. I can make it. I have the Amla powder here. I, um, have my olive oil. I have the shea butter that they use in it and, you know, some other stuff they put in it. I have that stuff. Um, like I said, minus one or two ingredients. I could pretty much make it myself if I wish to. So, yeah. Um, I don't use, um, Oyen anymore because, um, I just don't. I made my own conditioner or I just stick to my, um, the Suave Tropical Natural Co Coconut, um, conditioner to co-wash with. And I haven't used that in a while either. Um, let's see. I don't use the Blended Beauty one because it is sitting in my storage back in Maryland. But even when I did use it, I was noticing that it was starting to dry my hair out. So I don't use that anymore. Um, I used to do a apple cider vinegar and water rinse on my hair after every shampoo, but I don't shampoo my hair that often. And so I stopped doing ACV rinses. But that is something that I have picked back up and started doing again because, you know, sometimes you just forget how good it makes your hair feel. 
Um, let's see, what else was I doing? Oh, I don't baggy anymore, although I probably will start to baggy because it's starting to get drier out here. And um, I'm noticing that even though, you know, I put my stuff in my hair, my hair will start to, you know, react really fast to it. But I see that it's needing that moisture. But for those that don't know, bagging is, you know, spraying your hair with vegetable glycerin or water or whatever product of your choice. I'm not telling you to use an all-natural one. Um, some people use um, Curl Activator spray their hair with because it's got a lot of glycerin in it. Um, but you spray your hair with that and you put on a plastic cap little plastic shower cap or something like that and you sit around until the moisture seeps into your hair and you just pretty much take it off and roll like that for the day. Um, I used to do that every single day back when I had like a half an inch to like three inches of hair and I do not do that anymore. The reason being is that one while I was in Maryland I really didn't need to. It's not that dry out there um, and two I just just fell out of doing it. I started making my own products and just using a vegetable glycerin and water mix that I make on my own and I just stopped doing it. Um, it's not lazy, it's just something that I just cut out of my regimen. Um, I guess making my own stuff has you know caused me to forget about the stuff that got me to here to this hair here that I have to this great lengths and stuff and so I I have to go back to doing that so I have re-implemented into my regimen my um using of my hair oil that I made to stimulate growth I do still use my um my own rosemary and sage my get it back um rosemary and sage hair tea I do use that um I use my shalo, I use my green tea butter, um, I take distilled water, apple cider vinegar, and baking soda, and I put them in a big 20 ounce container, and you know, shake it up gently, because that stuff will explode with the baking soda in it, and um, I wash my hair with that, yes, you can wash your hair with that, and um, the only other shampoo that I have that I wash my hair with, well, I have Two, one that I made, the black soap shampoo that I've talked about, um, that I made for my husband, and um, sometimes I'll wash my hair with that, or I'll use my Aubrey Organics um, Island Replenishing, um, Replenishing Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. That's my regimen. I do have a Nita Grant, but I um, I haven't used it lately I did use it the you know that a couple of times um twice on my hair and I used it once on my daughter's hair and I will never use it on her hair again not because it doesn't have a good reaction to her hair it's just that her hair takes up so much and that stuff is expensive so I don't use that on her hair we pretty much we tried it once and that was it so we stick to my stuff for her hair cuz I have it in abundance and I don't have any to grant in abundance so um yeah, that's pretty much what I do. So things that I know I need to start doing. I need to, you know, get back to my regimen of using my apple cider vinegar rinse after I shampoo my hair. If I shampoo my hair with um, something other than the black soap shampoo. Because that's actually quite moisturizing. But I do make sure I put a, a good conditioner on top of that. Oh, another thing I don't do. I don't use my leave-in conditioner anymore. I had... um. Pantene, Pantene's um, leave-in conditioner, and I don't use that anymore because it, it hardened my hair so bad, and I know there are a lot of ladies that have success with it. I just don't, and so I stopped using it. It's really bad because I, I had the bulk size bottle of it. Yeah. So, that's... See, I told you. I, I do these videos, and it's not just for you, but it's for me, too, because now I can, you know, go back and say, okay, this is what I used to do, and this is what I don't anymore. So, you know, my purpose is as well. I think this clock says my 24, because I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> so I'm going to stop there. So, yeah, that's pretty much my regimen of what I do. What I do now, I shampoo, I twist, I use any of my products and maybe some I need a grant and um, I use uh, my conditioners. I mean, it's basically my stuff, so that's it. I know, boring video. Later. If I can shut this off.